Good day to you. I am really excited today because today I got my uh, Fab Speed Valve Tronics exhaust system for my 2011 Porsche Cayman. Uh, I've just had the Cayman since January so I've been really looking forward to doing some mods to it. Uh, I've already replaced shifter cables and some other things but the exhaust is going to be great because uh, it just has the stock exhaust on it with no uh, sport exhaust. So I'm looking forward to getting this on there and seeing how that uh, sounds. So the box arrived today. Um, as I said, I got this from Fab Speed. They were great to talk to on the phone and did a super job of getting this to me. So I'm really excited. Let's have a look, see what's in the box. Um, I won't lie, I've already had a little peek in because, well, who can resist? So it's very well packed. Like I said, I already had to have a little look because of what? Look at that. So I opted to get the carbon fiber tips. And that just looks fantastic. Really, really nice. And what else we got in here? Some nice pipes. Obviously, that goes onto the manifold, and it's all nicely labeled, so you know what pipe is what. Another beautiful pipe. So there's the left side valve tronic exhaust. You can see the uh, vacuum actuator for the valve there. Beautifully made, beautiful welds, beautiful finish. So the other side, that's going to look great. You wonder how quiet it's going to be. I'm not exactly in a Total residential neighborhood, but that sure looks smaller than the mufflers that are on there now. What we got in here is some clamps. Not sure what that is. It looks like some sort of vacuum accumulator by the looks of things. We'll find out. Some uh, decals. And a box of other stuff. Oh, nice. There's the... Uh, key fob controllers for the sport exhaust. Now you can uh, pro program your home link button uh, in the car to these. So to turn your sport exhaust on and off, all you have to do is reach up and hit one of the home link buttons, which is nice. And in here we've got some vacuum tubing. The actual control unit, which has to be wired in. And some T-fittings, check valves, some zip ties, and some more vacuum line. So that is great. I can't wait to get this in. Looks like it should be a pretty simple install. It's quite well made. I've had the exhaust off before uh, when I was doing the clutch and uh, it comes off pretty easy. So uh, hopefully in the next uh, 
five or six days or so, I can find some time and get this into my car. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video, and we'll uh, get this installed.